All right, so here is our oven. As you can tell, it's pretty gross. This has never really been cleaned. Actually, I don't think we've cleaned it once since moving in. So I am going to try the Norwex like cleaning paste and stuff on it. So I tested it a little already with the door. So the door looked a lot like what's in there and now it looks like this. So, and that's using like the stainless steel like almost what are those like what are they called? Oh, these things. So the the spear net. It's just a stainless steel like you know scrubby. So that's what I use with the cleaning paste. And I think if I need to, I might use the uh, the blue diamond, like spray some in there beforehand, you know, just to water and water mixture. But yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do tonight since I'm staying up late and uh, the wife's already asleep. So maybe it'll be a good surprise for her when she wakes up. All right, let's get to it. All right, so I'm to the point where I have scrubbed basically everything as hard as I could. And, well, obviously I still need to wipe it out. <laughs> Excuse me. So, that's going to happen next. I'm going to grab an Aviro cloth and I'm going to wipe this thing out. And Well, it should look far better than it did when I started. All right, there it is. All wiped out. Just using the, like, it's, it's an Enviro cloth, but it's got like a little scrubby on it, but I didn't use it. But this is like a hundred times better than what it was. I mean, obviously, you're never going to get everything unless you want to put a fair amount of hours into doing this. But, whew, this is way better than what it was. Oh, all right. Next, the microwave. All right, so here's our microwave, and good lord. It's just so, so bad. I mean, let me take this off of here and you can see. Oh, <laughs> you can tell we don't clean this thing nearly enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this next. And I'm thinking maybe just an Enviro cloth will do it. Maybe I use the one that I used, so I mean, so, this is the one from the oven. This was clean when I used it. Like straight out of the wash clean. And, I mean, obviously it's got that silver backlock system in it, so it's self-purifying right now. But I'm going to go ahead and use it because of that scrubby right there. And just to show you the spear net. Boom. From the oven. They're supposed to be round. And this one is no longer round just to show you that I actually did it this is a brand new one so this is a brand new one right here oh you saw what the other one looked like and I didn't I didn't even really put a dent in the in the paste so I might have to use a little bit of that for the microwave so let me get started on that all right here we go figured this time I just leave the camera on just to see how well this all works out. Oh, well, that's interesting. There's a hole in the bottom of my... A couple holes. That's probably not good. Tell it's not not doing too bad. Yeah, 
they really do mean it when these enviroclaws get freaking clean. My goodness. Wow. You say if you're a guy out there and you're seeing this, if you're skeptical of this stuff, I'll tell you, I was too at first. And now, I am not. Not ever since I tried just a couple things like in our bathroom around the vanity just cleaning that like totally totally changed my perspective on this stuff all right let's scrub back here a little bit where's the scrubby part there it is Obviously, it's a gentle scrub, otherwise I probably wouldn't be able to do it on the microwave. Whew. That's looking pretty good to me. Wipe it all out. And that should be basically it. Oh, well, looks pretty good to me. Even the even the door was pretty bad. But look at this. Cleaning pretty well. Find my scrubby part again. So I spray water on it just because instead of wetting the entire viral cloth all over again, I just spray a little bit of water on there. That'll help out tremendously. I mean, yeah, you got to put a little bit of scrub into it, but you know what, honestly? For not having to use any chemicals. I mean, I found that sometimes if you use just like regular like white vinegar or like they have that cleaning vinegar which is just basically vinegar. If you use that a little bit, I mean honestly I don't know if you're supposed to do that with Norwex. Because there's a few like things that you're not supposed to use with the Norwex stuff, but Honestly, I don't think it's going to hurt it any, but yeah, I would, I would definitely call that clean. And again, I think it's like, what, 90% better, almost 100% better than what it was before I started. So, there you go. This viral cloth is nice and dirty now. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to check out Norwex stuff for yourself, go ahead and hit the link in the description below and you can order from there. Or if you got questions, go ahead and ask them down in the comments. You can go and join the Facebook group. It's Green Cleaning with the Crunchy Goth. You can just look up that in on Facebook, join, ask to join the group and we'll add you. And yeah, so go ahead, check this stuff out. I'm telling you, it works. Only water and cloths. Sometimes the cleaning paste, but honestly this stuff is like all natural. It's all stuff that's just from, it's like plant-based basically. So, really good stuff. Check it out.